Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today I want to show you a cool new feature inside After Effects CS6, which I find to be a big time saver and a huge help for media management. Now, we have the ability to import Illustrator files in After Effects for a long time. You just double click, navigate to the file, and you can choose to bring it in as a composition or as a footage item. And you just click, choose your option, and click open, and it comes in. Now, that's easy enough. And you see in this case, the individual layers are there. There's Bessie and all of her parts. So that's fine, and it works, and we have that ability to convert that. But what I sometimes want to do is make sure that I can embed this in a project. Right now, I have to keep track of that After Effects file. So if I was to design a lower third with this logo in it, or maybe a show open, I'd have to go and find this file and then move it with my project at all times. But in CS6, we can actually convert Illustrator files into shape layers, and it gives us lots of flexibility. Here's how it works. Let's start with the simple logo on one layer here. And under the Layer menu, I could just choose Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Now, some of you are saying, what just happened? Nothing appeared to change. Well, here's our original logo. Here's the new one. Again, what happened? Well, I can get rid of that Illustrator file because we have a new vector shape layer. And that vector shape layer has all of the contents here. And you see we have four different groups. So there's all the individual pieces. And it made a new shape, applied a stroke, adjusted the fill, and made a great conversion. So I don't need that Illustrator file to link to anymore. I've got this, the, the ability to go ahead and actually embed it. Plus, you could take advantage of other options here, like in the composition settings, you could choose the new ray traced option. And when you do that, let's just drop in a light real quick. There we go. We'll set that back to white. If this is a 3D layer, you'll see that you now have the ability to actually extrude things. So, for example, under Geometry Options here, I could adjust the depth of the bevel. And let's just rotate that object there as a group. I'll spin on the Y axis. And you see that you can actually start to get some depth. There it is, extrusion depth. And look, we've pulled it out. Let's just grab that light and pull it back for a second. But you see, we actually have a real 3D object now that we've extruded. And because we've got the ability there with separate groups, if necessary, you can go into those individual ones and play with the paths or even adjust them a little bit. And you see that you've got the ability to modify. Now, the same thing holds true for the individual layered file. I'll make those 3D. There we go. And in doing so, you'll find geometry options for all of the individual layers. So this means that you can go ahead and actually start to extrude them individually. You just have to go under the Composition Settings and make sure under the Advanced tab, you choose the new Ray Traced option. And now you get the geometry option. You can start to exclude. Now, these are all at the same level. So I just need to play with their position in vertical space there. You see moving things around. In this case, I'm going to pull the orange layer forward just a little bit. And that's going to pop to the front there. And we'll do the same thing here with the black. We'll just pull that up to the front. And you see you can start to intersect and play. Now with this multi-layered file, we'd have to play a little bit. But I could extrude those individual options there and have total control or just work with the single file here, which will preserve all the aspects, and it becomes very easy to apply simple things like rotation. And you see that with a fast GPU, you get really good performance there. And you can even do simple animations. There we go. 
and adjust, of course, the lighting and any of the properties that you need to create the type of effect you want. And it's going to react to lights. It's going to let you do all sorts of great stuff. And that's because I've got a nice, fast GPU and the ability to convert vector objects like Illustrator files into vector shapes and extrude them as needed. My name is Rich Harrington. Thanks for checking this out.